Hi guys, Sullivan Owen here in Philadelphia. I am back with grocery store flowers and a request. I've had a few comments about how to style and design with just bud vases. So I thought the grocery store would be a perfect place to try out styling, showing you guys some styling for bud vases. Um, I went to the grocery store, the Acme, which is literally like two blocks from where I live. And I went on Sunday morning and they had mostly mixed bunches and some tulips and some roses. So I ended up going for the mixed bunches because I think for when you want a variety for styling bud vases with lots of various height, color, and texture, mixed bunches are a good way to go. I found these to be a little expensive, but it is a city grocery store and I have found that the, the, the stores that are inside Philadelphia proper do tend to be slightly higher priced than um, maybe some of the suburban counterparts, but I would have to go to another store to really check it out. So I have a large mixed bunch that was uh, $14.99. A petite bouquet that was $9.99 and some tulips that were $7.99. So I am going to just show you how I sort these. I'm going to throw away. There's uh, a couple things that I don't like that I'm just going to throw away. And then once we're left with a pile of stuff, I will put them in um, my collection of amber and green glass bottles that I have pulled aside. And I think this is something that you could easily do for Thanksgiving or pre-Thanksgiving, uh, just if you wanted to have stuff in guest rooms. I know we're getting ready to have lots of entertaining going on, at least here in the States for the Thanksgiving holidays. So this is a pretty simple way that you can put a lot of flowers around the house without going too crazy. All right, let's get started. We've got a spray mom, some Gerber daisies with, uh, they come with these plastic sleeves on them that helps them stay upright. Let me actually show you this before. So uh, they had lots of spray painted flowers in these bunches. So um, here you can see, this hydrangea has spray paint residue on it. Um, it's been tinted a very pretty peach color, so we'll see how it goes. It's a pretty color of carnation. So it looks like the recipe for that bouquet was three spray mums, two Gerber daisies, two carnations, and the, oh, sorry, four, four mums, and the sprayed hydrangea. I am discarding the Alstromeria because it never usually looks particularly good. And also it's probably the epitome of an inexpensive grocery store filler flower. I'm gonna put these two bicolor orange and red roses in the maybe pile. So the Alstra is going straight in the trash. So we've got, is it the same? Nope, a different carnation color, a mini carn, 
this is why I want it. Um, this is a Dianthus or sometimes Sweet William. Uh, pink roses, those will go in the maybe pile. Pink Veronica, um, a really pretty color of like a pinky rose hypericum berry with just a little bit of damage. And some, all right, so this is why I wanted to go through these. These are um, oriental lilies, Asiatic lilies, and they are poisonous, super poisonous to cats. So um, I, even if I could stand the smell, which I cannot, I would never have them in the house. So those are straight into the trash. And then lastly, I just have these pretty kind of red, magenta tulips which i bought just in case this stuff didn't work out and it says these are grown in canada so. and i'm just pulling off the lower portion of the foliage uh i'm gonna leave some of the upper leaves on just for some interest. But I am looking for anything that's damaged oh, or when you damage a flower. my maybe pile and I think just kind of looking at everything that I have this baby pink spray carnation is maybe the only thing that I see being slightly difficult to work in so I'm gonna put this stuff to the side so I think that the key to an interesting bud vase grouping is variety of height not necessarily color. I mean, all clear would work really well too. Uh, I just happen to have a lot of these greens and ambers. And I'm not really alternating, but I'm just trying to kind of like mix up the color. And I am not one for um, symmetry or keeping things perfectly straight. I think they're more interesting when they're kind of all over the place. But everything that I have here, my table's maybe four feet, four and a half feet wide. And um, I think that you could easily spread this off down an eight foot table with, if you added in some candles, you could certainly stretch it even further for eight to 10 people if you're sitting at a dining table. And bun vases are really helpful for family style meals. Um, I wouldn't say if you're having family style for like 30 people, you would wanna do this, but when you keep the pieces small, when you need to put a platter down, you can just kind of shift things out of the way. So I would actually, um, if I were doing these for a dinner, I actually had a dinner just last night where we had um, 350 assorted bud vases to decorate um, 
a party for there were let's say more glass vases than there were guests um but if you're doing this at home or as i'm doing for you i think it's a good idea to style the vessel so these are all clean they have water in them and um i would just kind of place them where you want and then it'll make it a little easier to put the flowers in you if you uh plan to design and then bring them somewhere i would suggest uh leaving some of the stems longer so you can kind of cut things down and play with um the shape and i think oh, oh well i was gonna say removing the leaves would be a good idea so it's less obvious it's been spray painted and then i ripped off part of the flower And I'm gonna start by just kind of like trying to spread color around. The reason I like the little, um, the little vases is because they're perfect for something that's like a little too short. with the mixed bunches that they had uh, they definitely um, there was a lot of really wild looking flowers and I'm gonna presume that that had something to do with Halloween there were um, some very interesting choices in the spray painted and dyed uh, flower selection so I think you can remove these I actually don't really work with Gerber daisies or Gerbera, depending on where you learned about flowers. Um, so I don't actually know if that means that they will flop. They uh, they are store they come shipped laid flat with the head supported so that when they drink they kind of straighten up. But I'm not that familiar with it, so we'll see. I almost feel like they need to be kind of off to the side where they're gonna be like very focal. on spreading color around using what I have I did not buy any greenery because they didn't or foliage they didn't have any I think that would be helpful and if I were um, doing this for my own house with some like mixed bunches I would probably still go out into my yard and cut some something leafy but uh, certainly uh, you know, I, it looks like I'm going to have one bud vase that doesn't get a flower. Oh, wait, no, I still have tulips. I'll probably cut that a little too short. Let's see. You can't really make them longer once you cut them. Yeah, I would like that to have a little more stem. Let's see. All right, I'm back 
after technical difficulties, I was looking at the main camera, this one, when I talked to you, and the red lights started flashing, and I'm not entirely sure how this happened, but a blank card in the camera only had four minutes of recording time left, so then that started a whole thing where I was worried that all the footage from before this got deleted, but it didn't. All right, so this is, you know, there's one flower per. Certainly, if you didn't have as many bottles, this would make for a, a much more full display. And I also think that if you were interested in changing the tone, you could add in some of, there's only two of these, so um, certainly we can add them in. I might do them like with the, the Gerber Daisy or if you were feeling like you wanted it to skew a little, this pink just it looks like awful with that mom. But yeah, I don't think the pink, I think we'll do the pink in like a little separate thing for like a guest room table and this little sad broken tulip. Um, and the this is Veronica and it just, it's like a really weird color. So I'm gonna trash that. But for the most part, I think everything looks pretty good. And certainly this is enough stuff to um, fill, visually fill the space without spending a ton of money. Um, you know, the uh, long table runner type of floral designs are, are really, really popular in terms of wedding work, but they are not exactly budget friendly, especially for something at home. So. This, I love this berry, but it just does not look great. We'll take that one and make a little pink thing with it. I went and cut that really short again. We'll put it here. It's not gonna fit in there. All right, so. Uh, we'll do a bonus styling in a single little bud vase, these miscellaneous pink flowers, but uh to just kind of scatter around your house. This is definitely something that you could do on the Monday before Thanksgiving. I do not think it's something that you have to do right before. You just wanna make sure when you're looking at the flowers at the grocery store, at the co-op, or you know, the deli, depending on where you're getting your flowers, that you just make sure they look like they're in pretty good shape. Everything here did looked healthy. Um, you know, I get a lot of questions about how can you tell if flowers are gonna last a long time? I mean, really look at them. If the petals are crumpled, if the leaves are mushy, if the bottom of the stem doesn't look great, um, you can even if you're brave, peek in the bucket, see how fresh the water is. But it's definitely something you can do in advance. And if you're worried about it, you can keep them someplace cool. Don't put them in the fridge. You need that fridge space for Thanksgiving stuff. And produce is not good for flowers. But just stick them in like a cool dark place. Like we have a cold corner of our basement that I would use if I didn't have the floral cooler. Thanks so much for watching guys. If you haven't, please remember to subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up or share it with a flower loving friend or both. If you're planning on keeping your floral design simple for Thanksgiving, leave me a comment below and come find me on Instagram. Tag me if you want to show me your holiday floral decorating. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Oh, stay tuned. Bonus. Bedside table, bud base in two seconds.